everyone and welcome back to my channel it feels very weird to be sitting down at the moment because i have been so used to editing the disney world vlogs that i haven't actually sat down and filmed a video since my walt disney world haul which i filmed it around at the end of may time so it's been a while so if i'm a bit rusty please excuse me but i'm coming at you with another haul and it is from the Disney shop! Clearly I can't keep away. I saw that they had a massive sale, much like a lot of people on my Instagram. They had 50% off a lot of their stuff and I couldn't resist. I ordered two birthday presents for Andy. Um, so I don't have those to show but I will put um, photos of them on screen when we get to that bit. But yes, I'm just so excited to get into this massive box and show you what i couldn't resist buying because clearly i have no restraint i've been on a two week holiday in florida and spent far too much there you you would have seen how much i spent because you've seen the haul by now but i clearly couldn't stop myself so let's get into this massive disney store box okay so there was definitely a theme when it came to placing this order and i don't know whether I really needed to go along with the theme because I had quite a lot already but we're just going to roll with it and can I just point out how cool is the Disney packaging I just love the kind of bit more attention to detail they could have so easily just done a plain cardboard box which it kind of looks like on the outside but I just love this design and especially if you've got kids during the summer holidays this would be perfect kind of like a two-in-one like you've ordered all your goodies but you can also um get them to be occupied for the afternoon but yes let's get in it through the box so what should i do first i mean there's a lot of things shouting at me in here kind of like scream to me to show we'll go through the ears first because yes you heard it floral I ordered multiple pairs of ears. I'm just going to put this to the side because clearly buying, I think it was seven pairs I brought on holiday, clearly that wasn't enough. So I had to buy myself some more. So the first pair, and I'll probably do like some close up shots of these so you can really appreciate the um, kind of detail of them. The first pair are these Mickey Pretzel Lounge Fly is and i just love them and they say that they're scented which i find is incredible i think it's scented on this like little detail in the middle but maybe it's a bow as well i'm not sure but these are kind of like the faux leather effect so they're really comfy and really good quality and they've kind of got like a um kind of like a cushioned um inner so it's really comfortable to wear can, have we ever established why the labels are so long on Disney ears? Because that's just ridiculous. I mean, I will cut it off, but I just can't understand why they're that long. And all of these fluffy bits as well. But yeah, they're lounge fly ones, so really good quality. And I believe these were reduced to £14, which is mad for lounge fly ears especially so i couldn't resist these i remember seeing them i think they might have released them either whilst we were on our trip or just before and i remember seeing them in the creation shop in epcot and i just loved them but at that point i brought too many and i kind of had to like restrain myself a little bit which i clearly was better at doing on holiday than i am being at home but you know whatever you do to get the disney feels again but yeah absolutely love these and they're going to be such a good addition to my collection and i've already got in mind some photos i want to do when we um, eventually get back to disney world <laughs> So the next pair are ones that I kind of saw a gap in my collection. I have quite a lot of like, 
I don't know whether you would say themed ones or ones that obviously are quite specific to an outfit that you'd wear so I kind of wanted some classic mini ears so these are just black ones with a really padded um spotty bow and I just love these because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these especially in the evenings with some of like the more dressier outfits I'd wear for and um, going to like dinner and stuff and I believe that these were £12 I think they were half price as well which really shocked me because I wasn't imagining a pair like this that I would deem as like a classic pair that they're always going to sell to be in the sale but very chuffed I've got these I I'm not a massive fan of the ones with like the red bows or like the sequins when it comes to a classic style like this so I kind of wanted kind of a more understated one that I could bring along and know I would wear with multiple outfits as well so yeah really chuffed with those. And then the last pair of ears I got are what I'm going to call my grown up ears. So if I don't have an outfit that I want to wear the previous ones with, I feel like these ones are a really good way of kind of being a bit more grown up. Say if we went to a more um, upper class kind of restaurant or something or a sit down meal but these are, are like an imitation level ones they feel like lounge fly but they're not they are just shop disney and disney park ones but i really like the color of these they're kind of like a tan brownie color and i love the detail of the bow it's kind of like got cutouts and it's like a almost suede um material but yeah i love these these are such good quality and i believe these were 12 pounds as well so a really good bargain and i don't really have anything like this in my ears collection so i feel like it's filled a really good gap in my um collection so i'm really happy with those picked up trust me there was more that I could have because there were so many in the sale but I feel like I've got a good selection I've got a themed one some classic ones and some grown-up ones so very happy with those and then let's get into the rest of the box I've decided to put a pair of ears on because it doesn't feel like a proper Disney haul without wearing some mini ears and I can confirm that these feel super comfortable already and how cool does it look with, with my little leopard print swap dress the last time I wore this we were in Animal Kingdom I will link the um, Animal Kingdom vlog in the description below if you fancy watching it yeah just thought they'd look a bit more appropriate for the video and you'll have to apologise if you can hear cars going past or something I live on the main road and currently when I'm filming this it's very hot so I've got the window open because I would be baking in here if not but hopefully you'll be able to hear all right so the next two items will come as no surprise to anyone if they've seen my Walt Disney World haul or know me at all I am a pin collector you can kind of see the pins that I've got um here these are my special ones I got from Walt Disney World but there was a few that I didn't end up picking up when we were in Florida and they had them in the sale on the Shop Disney UK website so I couldn't resist but again I'll put um like close up shots of these so they're a bit easier to um see but I got this patch and pin set for the 50th and it says the world's ma ma most magical celebration Walt Disney World and it's got the 50th um little symbol on it and I just love this I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily use or just keep it in the packaging because I feel like it's a really good keepsake of like years to come and kind of putting it out of like a memory box and going oh do you remember when we went to Florida for the 50th and stuff but I really like this and I believe it was reduced to 10 pounds 
maybe a little bit less but it was originally 14 pounds so i'm guessing it was probably about like 15 dollars or something but yeah i really like this and i thought it was just like a nice little keepsake and the pin is um some mickey like the mickey um hat with the little um same symbol as the um patch and And then the other one is a 50th anniversary one. I got, um, I think I got two 50th anniversary um, pins. Yeah, I got two 50th anniversary pins. But I really did want the Mickey and Minnie character 51, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I think a lot of people were having trouble with that. So I settled on my new favourite characters that I um, absolutely had grew in love with when we were there and it is the little Chippendale 50th one that was again reduced um it was originally 15 pounds and it was reduced to 10 pound 50 but i just absolutely love this and it's the perfect addition to my collection and it kind of reminds me of when i fell in love with Chippendale because we saw them in hollywood studios one day and they were just so funny have a right laugh with each other and it was just so lovely to see and it's one of those memories that I just think back to when I get a little bit sad that we're not um, there at the moment and stuff but yeah very chuffed with those <laughs> well restrained with just buying two pins but there wasn't as many as I thought for like the 50th that were in the sale so I got the two that really stuck out and ones that I remember wanting to buy in Disney World but never got the chance to and if they're going to be slightly cheaper than when we could buy them I'm obviously going to buy them then and then the final item that I can show you um actually wait i'll kind of talk about the two items i got for andy so if you've watched the new vlogs you'll know he is a massive star wars fan and they had a few star wars clothing items in the sale so i picked up the star wars kind of like um starry sky spirit jersey for him because he was looking at that in florida and that was in the sale for 29 pounds i think um which is ridiculous for a spirit jersey so I got that and on the back it says um, in the galaxy a long time ago or something like that. Yeah, so he will be really happy with that and I'm so chuffed to give that to him. Don't worry about me spoiling the presents for him. His birthday would have been and gone by the time this video goes up so I'm not spoiling it for him. And then I also picked up a t-shirt for him which is like a 90s style kind of like action figure which I thought was really cool and I think it's a collection that Disney has brought out recently i don't think they were there when we were in the parks but it's a really cool style i'll put pictures of both of the items on screen but i've wrapped them up so i can't show them unfortunately but i hope you really like them fingers crossed and i just thought there'd be um two kind of cool surprises and the t-shirt i think was 14 pounds reduced from like 30 so quite a good deal as well but yes let's get on to the last item of the haul and probably one of the most exciting ones because i can't quite believe i've got this item for the price but also i can't quite believe i've added it to my collection that i've seem to have only started this year and it's proven to be quite an expensive um addiction as well as all my other um Addictions that I keep adding to, but yes, I brought myself a lounge fly bag in the sale. Can you believe that this bag was £39? A lounge fly bag for £39. I could not believe it, and yes, it does match my ears. So, you best believe I'm getting a Mickey pretzel when we're next in Walt Disney World or Disneyland Paris and taking some pictures because how could I not? I absolutely love pretzels and I love the Mickey pretzels so I could not resist getting this bag and again it says this is scented so I think it's this bit that is scented the most it, it kind of smells like American butter if that makes sense which does kind of smell like the Mickey pretzel so I don't think they're wrong but I just absolutely love this 
Um, if you didn't know, I did get a long try bag for my birthday. I haven't filmed a what I got for my birthday just because I didn't feel like I wanted to, but I will quickly show you. And you got me the Woody lounge fly bag for my birthday. I was looking at this when we went on holiday, and at that point, I didn't really have any room in my suitcase for another bag, so I couldn't really fit it in. But I absolutely love that he surprised me with this. Woody is my favourite character because Toy Story is my favourite film it came out the same year i was born so it kind of feels like we entered the world at the same in the same year so it was meant to be but yes i am so chuffed with this i think this was originally 79 79 pounds down to 39 and i just absolutely love this it will be definitely coming on our holiday um, when we go next time and yeah just so chuffed with it and it is the perfect addition to my ever and grow ever increasing and growing collection of lounge fly bags but yes talking about holidays as well I have been keeping a little bit of a secret from everyone and we are indeed going back to Walt Disney World next year in 2023. I don't want to spoil anything because I'm filming a separate trip announcement video. But sorry, I just had to get the door there. I had a parcel delivered. But yes, we are going back to Florida next year. I'm going to be filming a full trip announcement so all of the details will be there but we are going next year in April slash May so around the same year because we just absolutely loved it but I don't think it took us I think it was about three weeks after we got back from this trip and um, we just decided that we we hadn't had enough and we just wanted to go back so we're so excited we're going to be there for Star Wars Day again so get ready for some themed skirts again and some themed outfits but yes we're so excited we feel like we've we're armed with knowledge now we've been for our first time we really want to make the most of it and enjoy every even more and the 50th anniversary stuff would have gone by then so it'll be interesting to see kind of what the difference is after us um experiencing it for the first time with the 50th stuff so yes just wanted to kind of add that in at the end of the video because I'm just so excited and I can't wait to tell you. I know if you followed me on Instagram you would have known that I didn't keep it a secret but I kind of wanted to make it a bit more of a big deal on YouTube seeing as this is where all of my Disney content are really going to be. I will be uploading on Instagram anyway but I really want to focus on like long form Disney content on here so if you are a Disney lover, if you've loved watching my vlogs or you want some vlogs to watch be sure to subscribe. There's going to be plenty more content coming over the rest of this year and next year. I've got loads of ideas of Disney um, videos I want to film and stuff so the best is yet to come shall I say but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this haul and video and I shall see you next week for a brand new video bye <laughs>